the Humini G F3 is another rebranded version of the Humini G A13 Pro. I'll be comparing the Humini G F3 with the A13 Pro in a separate video so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you do not want to miss it. Just like the A13 Pro, the rear of the Humini G F3 is AG matte glass. That's right guys, the body is made of glass. Also at the rear there is a square cool camera module with triple cameras and a flash. There's also the words Beyond Dreams branded at the rear as well. As opposed to the A13 Pro, the Humidity G F3 doesn't have a flat frame design. It's one of the reasons why the Humidity G F3's design is very similar to that of the Power 7 Max compared to the Humidity G A13 Pro. The Power 7 Max is also another rebranded version of the Humidity G A13 Pro. I'll be comparing the three devices in a separate video as well. On the right side of the F3, there's a power button and volume keys. The power button is also the fingerprint scanner. On the left side, the phone has a customizable key and a SIM slot. Just like the A13 Pro, the Mini G F3 has a 6.7 inch HD Plus display with an IPS LCD panel. It is powered by the Helio P70 chip as opposed to the Mini G A13 Pro that is powered by the Unisoc T610. Paired with the Helio P70 chip is an 8GB RAM and 1-2HGB internal storage. Just like the A13 Pro, the Mini G F3 also ships with Android 11 right out of the box. And there is no mention if these devices will be getting Android 12 anytime soon. The F3 as mentioned earlier has a triple camera setup. The main camera is a 14 megapixel camera followed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixel macro lens. The phone has a water drop notch display. The water drop notch houses a 16 megapixel front camera. It is backed up by a 5150 mAh battery and it supports 18 watts fast charging. A little bit faster than the 10 watts that ships with the A13 Pro. Other features include gyroscope proximity, the phone supports NFC, it also supports face unlock. The current price of the Mini G F3 is $299, a price that I think is a little bit expensive for a device with these specs. The price is expected to reduce over time, especially during the official launch date. Uh, as of now, I do not know when the device will be officially launched. I don't even know if Humini G has officially launched the device. Anyway, what are your thoughts about the Humini G F3? Make sure to share in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.